Welcome back. In our previous lesson, we talked a little bit about the object marker. Now let's learn about the topic marker. We have used the topic marker so far in a few examples, but we haven't talked about what it is or how to use it. Previously, when we did the sentence, 저는 빌리에요, that part, 는, 저는, the 는 is actually known as the topic marker. In that sentence, 저 by itself is a pronoun or a noun that means I. So a pronoun would be something like I, you, he, she, or they, or one of those words. And what the topic marker does is it literally, as its name says, marks the topic of a conversation. It marks what it is that you're talking about in your conversation in Korean. I also briefly mentioned the word nanen or nan, and this is also using the topic marker too. And we will talk in detail later about how this differs from chonen. So now, how do you use the topic marker? Well, it's quite easy. It attaches directly to a noun, just like the object marker. If the noun ends in a consonant, you'll attach un. If the noun, however, ends in a vowel, you'll attach nun. So that's why cho nun became the way it did. And here are some more examples. Hangul un. Pija nun. Billy nun. So let's talk a little bit more about the topic marker. Now, it really does mark the topic of whatever it is that you're talking about. You can think of this in English as meaning something like as for that noun, or when it comes to that noun, let's talk about that noun. Some sort of meaning like that, although it doesn't translate directly into English. The topic marker, again, is attached directly after the noun that it's talking about. So, let's take our other example. 저는. 저, meaning I or me. So this means something like, as for me, or when it comes to me. 한글 은. As for Hangul, or when it comes to Hangul, and then you can say whatever you want about Hangul, because now Hangul is the topic. Pizza nun. As for pizza, or when it comes to pizza, Billy nun. As for Billy, or when it comes to Billy. So now we're going to be talking about Billy. That's how the topic marker works, and that's how you can use it in your sentences. Now, when do you use the topic marker? This is a much more important question. Imagine that when you're talking with someone in Korean, there is a sign floating over the group that marks the topic that you're currently talking about. So, if you say, 저는, now the sign says, 저, we are talking about me. If the sign says, 피자, well now you're talking about 피자. Anytime you use the topic marker, imagine that this sign that's floating above your group is changing to that noun. So, changing the topic marker is changing what's written on that sign and tells everyone that the current topic of this conversation is whatever I'm talking about. So, then do you need to use the topic marker every time you want to change the topic? Yes, you will. But if you're not changing the topic, then you do not want to repeat the topic marker. It's not necessary to say, 저는, Chonin for every sentence when you've already established that you're talking about cho. So once something's on the sign, you can leave it there, say anything else you want without having to repeat a new topic, and everyone will know that you're still talking about that previous topic. So again, once the topic is set with the topic marker, you do not need to repeat that noun again or use the topic marker. It's still up there unless you need to change it. So in this example I have in the slide, we have the character saying, 피자를 좋아해요, after having previously said, 저는 something. So we still know that we're talking about 저, the person, but now they've added an extra piece of information. Well, I like pizza. He doesn't need to say again, 저는, unless they're changing it from something else. So here's an example of what I mean in a conversation between two people, Hyunwoo and Seokjin. First, Hyunwoo says, 저는 현우예요. I am 현우. 음악을 좋아해요. I like music. Note that he did not say again 저는 because 저 is still the topic of the conversation and it hasn't changed. After that, Seokjin replies 저는 석진이에요. Notice that Seokjin needs to change the topic to 저 for him because you're no longer talking about 현우. 
스포츠를 좋아해요. I like sports. So now again, Sokjin already changed the conversation to me, Sokjin, so he doesn't need to say 저는 at the start of the second sentence. Now, I should add that it might take a lot of effort and time to master and really internalize how to use the topic marker, but with practice, you can definitely do it as well. So this was just a basic introduction to it, and we'll definitely give plenty of more examples throughout this series. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again in the next episode. 그럼 다음에 또 봐!